Roxanne and I'm Chloe and with Skaties approaching let's check in with Gretchen and Sierra on changes to this event. As Spirit Week comes to a close we have another big thing tomorrow the 10th and 11th graders are going on a field trip to the Midway and a lot of students have had ideas about what next Spirit Week should be. I would think doing like a homecoming day would be super cool where we all can like dress up and like get all fancy just for a day at school. Reminder, Skaties has been changed to February 10th and it's now ice skating and not rollerblading. So remember to keep that in mind before you get dressed for the event. And back to you in the newsroom. If you already bought a ticket for Skaties, just hold on to those and we'll see you February 10th in Poway. Now let's check in with Lala and Mika on this week's sports. The varsity soccer teams have multiple games this week, so make sure you go and attend and support your team. The basketball varsity teams have multiple games as well. And last week against Maranatha Christian, Joni Schultz led the team with 28 points. I'm Mika Lachilingas Noah, and that's your sports highlights. Congratulations to the girls varsity basketball team for winning their first league game against Maranatha. Now let's take a look at the weather. Roxana, how's the weather this week? Well, Chloe, this week looks like it's going to be moderate. With the highs ranging from 61 to 69, and the lows ranging from 43 to 48. Wednesday being partly cloudy, with the highs being 68, and the lows being 48. Thanks, Roxana. Now we have Gabby and Elise to inform us on this week's special report. Thanks, Chloe. Have you ever been in the classroom with the person next to you driving you crazy? Well, we're here to see what that is and maybe how to fix that. My biggest pet peeve in class is when uh, the people just keep clicking the pens and they don't stop. You ask a question and you don't get like, you know, a very clear answer. So you're kind of just confused. The rest of the class just sitting there just like, oh God. My pet peeve in the classroom is when people take a long time on a test. So my pet peeve is when people take their shoes off in class and it's really nasty. When teachers are unreasonable and take off participation points for no reason. I'm sure those pet peeves might bug us all, but here's a solution to your problem. I don't know, I kind of just give them the desk there until they stop. I take their pen away. Thanks everyone for your input. Now let's head back to the newsroom. We all have our pet peeves and that's just one of the things that makes us human. Speaking on humanity, let's check in with Josh and Leah on last week's chapel recap. In last week's chapel, we had Josh Cezanne lead us in worship. Our speaker was Chandler Prezak, who told us that we should reflect God through our images and actions. Here's the takeaway from the message. What I would say going throughout the week is I think a lot of times, and especially at a school like this, because I actually used to go to Tri-City, is uh, just through our Christian walks, our life becomes so mundane, and we forget that being made in the image of God actually means something in the way that we act towards other people. And so not just sitting there and be like, oh, crap, I have to go to the next class, but actually loving the people around you, even the people that you've been friends with forever. And just because you know they're Christian doesn't mean that there's still not an opportunity to uh, be a light to them in either dark situations or hard times. That's all for your chapel recap. Back to the newsroom. Thanks, Josh and Leah. Well, that's all we have today. Thanks for watching TCNN.